This might be the most Sarah coat I've ever found in my life. Oh, look at that fur. second since I've filmed the video I am in the final stretch of planning a wedding and then I also started a new job so my life has just been a little bit crazy um, it's been a little stressful but you know it's all good things just a lot of stuff going on so I've had very little free time um, but I just you know I wanted to get out there do, do some thrifting I think one of the best ways to deal with stress is a little retail therapy so that we'd stop by savers and just see what we could find I just feel like the stars are aligned and that we're gonna find some good stuff today and I just kind of want to buy something to feel alive so hopefully we find something good and let's see what we can find in savers okay we are but five minutes in and this is my cart already and I just found like the most insane sweater. Look at this. Oh my gosh, 100% wool. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, guys. This is insane. Definitely vintage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I found the best wedding item. There's a lace suit set. It has this adorable little rosette on it. It's giving Carrie Bradshaw's original wedding outfit that she got at the thrift store. I don't think she actually ended up wearing it, but I just think it's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna try not to use that word. I used cute a lot, a lot in the last video. It is such a nice, suit set. It's not my size, but I think I might be able to get this tailored to fit me if I like the overall vibe of it. So it's going in my massively overflowing cart. Look at that. I just went in the men's section. I found these two really cool jackets as well as a lot of foreign jackets in my cart. And I just cannot stress enough that when you're thrift shopping, it's so important to check other parts of the store you wouldn't normally think to find stuff in because I always, always find such good things. So now I'm going to tackle this pile and try leaving on. Here is an oversized jacket that I found in the men's section. It's like that perfect, amazing, oversized fit. And then the inside has this beautiful, I don't know what you call it, like Aztec pattern. So I think this is just such a cool piece. Here's jacket number two from the men's section. I love this. It actually, I'm not sure if it is a men's jacket because it fits me pretty well and I'm a petite woman, but I think this is a very cool piece. I could see myself wearing this on a trip to Colorado or in the springtime, just with a cool pair of baggy jeans. I just feel like it's a very cool piece. And the back of it is really neat as well. So Gap is back guys and I found this vintage Gap leather jacket. It's a little bit oversized but I don't hate it. I might get it for myself or I might get it for my Etsy shop but just wanted to show it to you. This is a Ralph Lauren men's trench coat that I found. It's obviously a little big but I feel like I could pull it off. And I found so many good trenches. I think I might do a trench coat drop in my Etsy shop. So be on the lookout for that. This might be part of it, but I just think the color is amazing. It's in absolutely perfect condition. And the inside has, I believe, a wool lining you can unzip. So I just wanted to show this amazing trench coat. And vintage Ralph Run never disappoints in my opinion. This might, this might be the most Sarah coat I've ever found in my life. It's like a coat dress. Uh, that's that's pretty fabulous. Mm, this might have to come home with me. I bet this is ridiculously expensive, but so freaking cool. Okay, so ignore the biker boots and the full wool skirt underneath, but 
The vibes of this little cotton dress are immaculate. I'm going on a honeymoon to Italy this summer and I just could see myself wearing this on the Amalfi Coast with a bikini under it. So adorable. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's embroidered. I mean, it's just such a pretty color, such a pretty dress. I'm ready for spring. This literally took me about five minutes to button up this entire dress, but I wanted to give you guys the full effect of what it looks like. So freaking cool. Look at that neckline on there. What I didn't mention is that I'm actually going to the Houston rodeo next weekend. And I wasn't really looking for an outfit, but I think this kind of screams rodeo. Like if I wore this with some cute cowboy boots and like a little Western hat. So just wanted to show this amazing 80s denim dress. Okay, now I'm gonna unbutton it. So wish me luck. Here is the amazing Le Suit set so i didn't put the skirt on but i mean how amazing is that blazer and the pearl buttons and the flower i feel like carrie bradshaw doing a courthouse wedding kind of vibe so it's a little oversized i actually don't hate how it fits but it would be interesting to get this skirt shortened and make out a really cute little suit set maybe to wear on my bachelorette party weekend or something so i might have to pick this up here is the amazing 70s print dress. That pattern is stunning. I mean, that color combo. Ugh. Oh, there's shoulder pads in it, I just realized. Funky, funky. So it's a little bit big on me, but I almost feel like if I had a better belt with it, I could probably make it work. So cool. And that collar, ugh. I don't even hate it with the turtleneck underneath. This is just another really great 100% wool coat. The neckline on this is everything. I really like the color. I'm actually not a brown person, but I don't mind this. It's a little bit big on me, the actual size, but I think the coat itself is amazing. Then the inside has this beautiful silky lining. That's a gorgeous coat. I have an embarrassing confession. I tried this exact coat on the last time I was at Savers and then I regretted it. It was one of those things I got home and I was like, should have gotten it. So I think I'm gonna get it today. <laughs> um, but I mean, how did I leave this here? It's such an amazing coat. I mean, look at the inside. It's got the lining still amazing. It's, um, I think it's got a, yeah, 100% wool lining that you can zip out of it. And then the neckline is just gorgeous. I mean, you can never go wrong with a trench coat. And I love this color. I don't really love the traditional brown camel color trench coat, but this one's sort of like a green gray, so I'm here for it. And she's finally coming home with me. This is a very interesting trench puffer kind of combo. I tried to read the tag on this. It's very hard to read, but I believe it has down in it. Um, but it's kind of got a trench coat shape to it. Um, but it's a really, really nice coat. And it's got this cool, like the lining in it is so warm and puffy. And then I, I mean, I'm not an expert on fur, but this feels like a real fur coat. And then if you look, there's this amazing embroidery all down the lapel here. So just wanted to show this. I don't think it's gonna come home. It's a little bit beaten up. Like if you look closely at it, there's like, um, like a big rip in it right here. But I think it is just a really beautiful coat and I love the color. So I'm thinking about it. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out. This is so amazing. It's gotta be mohair. I mean, the color, the material. Look at how fuzzy and yummy that is. <gasps> I'm gonna get so much use out of this sweater. I have it kind of tucked in, but it's actually a lot bigger, like longer, but I just think that is so gorgeous. <gasps> this might be my best thrift find of the year. So I didn't know that the entire time I was walking around the store, the sweater was dragging the ground. So there's like fuzz all over it that is now all over me. But I just wanted to show it. I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's so pretty. It's such a chunky, thick knit sweater. Like it weighs like a lot. And the buttons on it are probably real silver. Um, but I just think this is a really, really great piece. And it's in like awesome condition. There's absolutely no pilling or anything besides all the dirt and fuzz that I got on it. So. Okay, so this button-up is quite oversized, but it's also gorgeous. It's sort of like a, I don't know, what color would you guys call this? Like a, it's almost like a green 
gold? I don't know. But um, the buttons on it are just amazing. It's kind of giving me Golden Girls, but in a good way. Um, but I just feel like this would be really cool with maybe, like, like as is, but with a pair of baggy jeans or something, and then some really cool, like, pointed heels. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind the size of it at all. I feel like this is sort of the, the silhouette that has, like, a lot of people are wearing kind of that oversized look. So I don't mind it being huge and oversized. So this might be coming home with me. How darling is this wool cardigan? <laughs> look at the little rosettes. <gasps> Little buttons. There is a tiny little stain, but I think I can handle that one with a Tide pen and then a laundress brush that I have. So I think this might have to come home with me. It is so adorable. I'm also going to France this summer. I feel like this is very France vibes. Oh, I wish I'd bought this like three weeks ago for Valentine's Day. So sweet. And look at those little, little sleeves. I think this is called a mutton sleeve. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but. Precious. It does not go with my like hardcore like boots vibe, but you know, imagine this with like some Levi's 501s, some cute little kitten heels or slingbacks. I found this blouse as is. I don't love it, but hear me out. If I were to like tuck this into a pair of jeans or skirt, then it becomes really cute. Like I, I love the neckline here. I think it's just the bottom part is kind of not doing it for me necessarily. I mean, I don't even I don't even hate this necessarily, but I do think it's a very interesting top. So, oh, and it's got little little baby shoulder pads. Whoa, those are tiny. But I do really like this. Hopefully, you can see this shirt and stop just blending in with all my other black, but it's this really cool button up. It's got fun embroidery and then it's, what do we call this? I'm blanking on what this is called, but the fabric is pleated. There we go, pleated. And then there's kind of a waistband here to kind of tighten it, but I just think it's a very cool button up shirt. I'm going to, like I said, the rodeo next weekend and I feel like this could be cute with a little cowboy hat and some jeans. I wanted to show this really cute little top. It's sort of like a vest that has sleeves on it. I love it. I'm sad because the diamond fell out of the last little button, but the idea of it is awesome. It's too big. I'm missing a diamond, but very cool nonetheless. I'm in the shoe section. I really haven't had a lot of success here in a really long time, but I did find some really cool shoes that I wanted to show that I still need to try on. So there's these amazing Bellini shoes. They have a very interesting, like almost a wedge. You can see that, but I just, I love that color. This is like literally my favorite color, which is kind of a periwinkle purple blue. And then I also found these really great condition Nina kitten heels. Um, I think these would be so cute again with like the baggy jean trend, like, and then you just have this fun little toe peeking out. So just wanted to show those real quick. Wow, okay, that was a very successful savers trip. I was able to fill up this entire L.L. Bean bag. Um, it's actually overflowing, so there's like more stuff under it. But I just feel like I had such a good thrifting trip here. I want to try my luck at one more. So we're gonna go to one more Savers and see if we can find anything else. And this Savers we're going to is particularly good for jewelry and accessories. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are at our second Savers of the day and I am in a really cool oversized Kenneth Cole leather bomber. I love the fit on this. I've really been into shopping in the men's section lately and I just think that this is kind of the silhouette that everybody's wearing. Like an oversized bomber shape leather jacket. It's in really really great condition. Um, not necessarily like a Kenneth Cole fan but I think that the style is really great. I don't know how well this will show up because I already have a belt on but I found this other really amazing western belt. I think it's real leather. It's kind of hard to tell. It kind of has this like beaded detail on it. I'll zoom in and show you what it looks like, but just a really cool belt. It's a little bit big on me, but I don't mind it hanging at this level. I might throw it in my Etsy shop too if I decide it's too large, but just wanted to show that. 
This is a really beautiful 100% cashmere Valerie Stevens sweater, so I will probably pick this up. I've been really into putting sweaters over my shoulders and just kind of rocking that, I guess, like quiet luxury. I hate, I feel like that's getting so overused, but I like the quiet luxury style with a really nice um, cashmere, a really like sumptuous sweater. I have to show this amazing velvet dress. It's actually navy blue. Um, it has this fabulous slit up the side, and then the back is gorgeous. I will show you guys another angle so you can kind of see what it looks like a little bit better in more detail. Okay, so this is it hung up. Look at that sexy little slit. So it's like just this really cute shape, and then the back, this amazing neckline, and these buttons. I just think that is such a fun dress. I'm obsessed with true 80s dresses, and I mean, this party dress is everything. It's in fantastic condition. I mean, it doesn't even really look like it's been worn, but if you look up close, like it has this beautiful brocade on it, and the sequins are in perfect condition. There's like a little bit of a stain right there, but besides that, it's almost perfect, and I think it's so ugly, it is attractive. So I think this might have to come home with me. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I just had to see what this is gonna actually look like, and I love this. I mean, it's over the top, but it's hella figure flattering, and I guess blue's my color. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really feeling me in this. I even like like this with a shirt under it. Like that would be kind of interesting to wear this with some kind of like tighter shirt underneath. I don't know. It just it feels really cute. I think I'm gonna bring this home. This is my last outfit I'm trying on, or last piece. Um, I, I don't know, guys, what do you think? This is kind of awesome. I mean, I don't really think I have like the boobage to fill it up, but also I'm wearing like one of my flatter bras. <laughs> but like, it's so cute. Like, I feel like Shania Twain in this. I feel so 90s. It's like an interesting material. So this is like kind of this like fuzzy, like almost like it feels like faux fur and then this is almost like a satin finish and then there's this really cool belt buckle. I don't know, this might be coming home too, that's pretty neat.